Steve. And welcome or welcome back. It's good to see you. To the beach. We at the beach. We at the beach. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can just well, you know, feel the mist yes, coming in, yes. can't you? Smell just that salt water. The salt yeah, water yeah, air, yeah, the seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? We had such we had such a good time on Mondays with Mark. Mm -hmm. With our Let's Go to the Beach episode, we just had to do another one. Of course. Right? Of and course. have you with us. Absolutely. We haven't been on camera together in a month. We I haven't. Don't think. I know, I know, I know. Well, you'll get us twice this week because we'll do a Friday night chit chat. Yeah. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. And then you're coming back tomorrow with your The um, Rehab Notebook. Nice. The topic will be around sensitivity. Ooh. That's a good one. Trying actually. to have that be a good thing. That yeah. Was, that was my assignment. Like so. being sensitive? Yeah, how being yes. sensitive is not necessarily yes. a negative thing. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Because if you are you can't help it if you are. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can toughen up a little bit with some experience, but... So, or act like you're tougher. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't do that I don't do that very well. I don't either. I cry at work like you, <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> right. So, oh, my goodness. But we, we will. We're going to have a nice time tonight, too. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, oh, we have a little project we're going to do. And, of course, we're going to cut up on some chit-chat. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to do that. And we have a new segment, too. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I'll tell you, you know, um, we've done beach episodes before. Like, you know, at ocean the themes. And yeah. we're at the beach, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, there's something about the beach for me. I, you know, I grew up, we would... You went every year probably almost, twice, right? Twice, sometimes even three times a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we would go to the beach. I mean, I had, my relatives were in Florida. And um, so we went a lot when I was very young. I lived there for a little while. And then um, I, we would travel there mm -hmm. uh, several times a year. And there's something about the beach for me that is just like totally grounding. I don't know what it is. I know, real unique. I think a lot of people <laughs> kind of might feel that way. You Love's know? Christmas, real unique. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I like it. And I, I, if I don't get there, it's like I feel the need to go. Mm -hmm. Not like... Oh, I need to go on a vacation, but more like a, an internal, an kind internal of kind need. of groundy yeah. thing. Because when you're standing there on the beach and you're looking out, you're just—it's just totally amazing. Every time I go, it just amazes me. How small I am. How small, how small we, we are. are you know, and how what's the right word majestic nature is or powerful nature is i don't know intimidating i would intimidating <laughs> definitely. i find i find the ocean intimidating see i grew up in lakes ah. and the, my parents we usually took their vacation over the summer to like do house projects or barbecue or stuff like that mm -hmm. so we didn't go to the beach i think when i was six months old my parents were in rehoboth and mom ah. carried that until actually i was not to the beach on the East Coast. My first time was in St. Lucia. Oh, yeah. I had never made it to the ocean up until I was 18. Mm -hmm. And then we flew, first time on a plane, made me sick. Oh, yeah. I hate flying. Oh. Um, and I saw the beach there, and it was beautiful and clear and, oh, wow. and blue and the pitons oh, sticking up in the background. It was just, it was magical. And I was at a magical youthful age. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was dating a guy a year later who had friends at the Jersey Shore. So we went, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I look at the beach. I'm like, I'm a brat. It was the Caribbean. I, you know, was nothing like... Yeah, it was yeah, the Atlantic on yeah. one side, and then the Caribbean on the other. So it wasn't a tropical beach. It was Atlantic City. Yeah. But um, I do like to go. Mm -hmm. I like once a year. Mm -hmm. You know, even if it's just for a, a long weekend or something. Yeah. Just to get away. We need to plan a little getaway. We haven't been to the beach this year. No. It's last March. Year, last year. Last year we went. Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah. I like AC. Yeah. I actually really enjoyed that trip. I did. Yeah, I, I did. would go back. We didn't trip over. It has a reputation, but I mean, we really didn't go too far from the hotel and then the boardwalk. We right. walked up and down and then a little bit through the neighborhood during the day, maybe. Yeah. But, um... We have, I felt safe. I felt mm -hmm. fine. Oh, I did too. I didn't see homeless people sleeping on hookers. It was everything. <laughs> you know, it wasn't. It wasn't like Monopoly, but <laughs> right, not quite. Yeah, but um, yeah. but it was good. It didn't have anything to do with the trip. We had a good time. Yeah. So I'm looking to go back. It's always good to find a cheap, cheap, cheap steal. Oh yeah. And Definitely, if you if can we, afford it. If you can get one of the yeah. older motels, too, that mm -hmm. are kind of cute. Like, mm -hmm. we stayed at the one in Atlantic City that was ancient. Oh, yeah, the Claridge. The Claridge. Yeah, I, you know, I, love, I loved it. It yeah. was still all, like, it was like stepping back in time. Yeah, it was like It really shining. was. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I don't know. I like those older uh, hotels and older like seaside places where you yeah. go, where you, it's just so much history. It's been there for a hundred years, years, you know. Years. I just love that, you know. Mm -hmm. There's something a little 
well, spooky about it, too, you know? Yeah, especially, like, New England sea towns. Yes. Like, you know, those when you think of, like, oh, Stephen yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I yeah. love that. Oh, yeah. New England is, like, some of the oldest designated parts of our country where mm -hmm. Europe hit first. Mm -hmm. You know, so you'll see things marked 1600s. Yeah. And you go to, like, the beach up there and check things out. Mm -hmm. Nothing in PA's 1800, maybe. Yeah. Nothing no. special until then. Hmm. But yeah. that got me thinking, too. Oh, this would be a great time to unveil our new uh, segment. And it is a spooky one. It's one that we call Shiver. Eerie hotels, to creepy lighthouses, to haunted beaches. Here are some spooky seaside destinations sure to give you the shivers. <laughs> First up, we're headed to America's oldest seaside resort. The New Jersey town of Cape May is reportedly the location of many haunted spots. These include the Queen's Hotel, the Winterwood Christmas Gift Shop, various houses on Jackson Street, the Hotel Macamer, especially room number 10, where it is said to be haunted by a ghost named Irene Wright, nicknamed the Trunk Lady because she always arrived at the hotel with a very large trunk. She has been a regular at the Macamer and had been visiting since the 1930s. She died in the 1970s, but loved Kate May and the hotel so much that she just never left. People have reported eerie knocking sounds, objects moving on their own, and even reportedly seeing the apparition of the Trunk Lady. Docked at the Mystic Seaport in Connecticut is the last American wooden whaling ship, the Charles W. Morgan. It was built in 1841 and retired in 1921, and the ghost of a seafarer below deck is commonly seen. And he is dressed in 19th century clothes and smoking a pipe. It seems like the places with the most history tend to hold the most paranormal activity. Well, at least that can be said for the beaches in Manzanita, Oregon. In the 16th century, Spanish colonizers were shipwrecked close to Manzanita Beach. Lost and stranded, they carried a chest of gold up towards the mountain, and in hopes of stopping potential treasure thieves, it is said the sailors went on a killing spree of anyone that came near the trail and buried the treasure along with the deceased men. Today, the trail from Manzanita Beach leading up the mountain is said to be haunted. The spirits of those innocent souls murdered by the greedy pirates loom over the beach. So if you're interested in searching for buried treasure or seeing ghosts, this is the place for you. Docked on the Southern California coastline of Long Beach lies Queen Mary. This boat was used mainly as a luxury ocean liner until the late 1960s and briefly was used as a World War II warship. After being purchased in 1967 by the city of Long Beach, the ship has been used as a hotel. The haunted rumors stem from the many deaths said to have occurred within its walls. At least one murder has occurred. A Taylor was crushed to death by the engine room door and children have drowned in the pool's waters. We can only imagine what other tragedies has happened over the years she was in operation. To this day, the engine room is considered to be the paranormal hotspot, and the hotel plays heavily into the haunted rumors by offering late night tours in true Los Angeles fashion. Many people have reported apparitions being seen and disembodied voices and noises being heard. So that was just a few spooky seaside destinations. Definitely worth checking out. If you dare. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm shivering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shivering. Oh my gosh, that was just like a couple of like I when I was doing research on this, there's so many, yeah. so many spooky uh, like seaside destinations. It's it's really cool, and mm -hmm. I want to check them out. Like I, you know, I all as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to see the Queen Mary, always. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should have to that you know that's out in California, right? the West Coast, yeah, it's on the West Coast. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to plan that sometime. That is like that's on one of the bucket list things. Queen Mary, yeah, that and getting a candelabra. Oh, okay. Remember that? Did you all see that video? Mm -hmm. <laughs> candelabra. So are we flying or are we driving to go see the Queen Mary? The last time I drove, um, I think well, I what didn't did see the Queen Mary. I was gonna say what did it take we like a week and a half? Coast. Yeah, we we stopped <laughs> from everywhere to Los Angeles along the way. Be a drive. Yeah, we we yeah, it was it was a, oh, it was a fabulous road trip. We mm -hmm. saw so much. We, you know, stopped everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. but um, it was really nice. But no, I didn't see the Queen Mary. No. Well, no. no I yet. have been to Cape May, though. Um, I didn't see anything spooky in Cape May, but uh, apparently it is one of the most, you mm -hmm. know, the spookiest towns around. Um, yeah. Gosh, I, it, it just, I just, ew, I just um, like stuff like that. The way to Cape May. <laughs> right? For the right. handful of years I lived in Philly, every summer, that's all you heard, on the way to Cape May, I fell in love with you. Yes, yeah. Oh, Q yeah, I know what you're saying now. Now yeah. I remember, oh my gosh. It was always the throwback beach song on yes. Thursdays Ear and Fridays. Yes, worm, oh. Definitely. And everyone from Philly runs to the beach. Yeah, yeah. And then they all run back mm -hmm. on Sunday and sit mm -hmm. in traffic. Yeah. But the, yeah, no, the beach is a lot of fun. You know, mm -hmm. I like I like pretty much everything about it except for the sand that you, well, bring back with you, you know? <laughs> get everything in your underwear, everywhere, yeah. you know? I mean, but, you know, there's building sand castles, that, you know, building sand. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I just happen to have a little DIY for you. Why don't we do that now? It's quick. It's easy. Let's make some permanent sand castles, shall we? Hey, so I just happen to have a quick DIY for you. So fun, so easy to do too. We're gonna make a permanent sandcastle, y'all. One that lasts forever. You know, for you could use it for decor, like some people like to decorate their uh, their bathrooms in ocean decor. Or you could use it for like if you're doing an ocean or beach themed party. Or heck, right up on the mantle. You know, ocean decor. <laughs> All right, so. What do we need? Oh, this is so simple. You only need three materials, and you can get everything at the Dollar Tree, which makes this inexpensive, too. <laughs> so you're going to need a castle to start with. Yes, and this is a uh, this, this is supposed to be a, a, a sand bucket like this, you know, but if you just take these off, you have a really cool mold for a sand castle. And then they also sell these bags of the little ones like this. There's four in a bag there. And um, let's see, we'll use this one to do our, um, to do our project today, okay? In addition to that, sand, either real sand from the beach or one of these bags from the Dollar Tree, and tacky glue. Let's do this. Okay, so to start, I definitely would recommend getting yourself a box of some sort like this. I just took an ordinary box and cut it, so we have like a little tray here, or a lid to a box, because as you know, sand will get everywhere. <laughs> okay, and then next, I put some tacky glue right in a little cup here, and I have a brush ready to go. And as you probably can guess, we are just going to take our sandcastle and we're gonna coat the whole thing pretty heavily with our tacky glue. Okay, there we go. And then as you can see, I just made sure to get down in all of those little nooks and crannies there. And uh, you know, we're pretty heavy in some parts, lighter in other parts, that's really good. It'll give us a lot of texture. All right, so next, oh yeah, we're gonna take our sand and we are just going to completely coat our sand castle with all of our sand. Dun, dun. And you can give it a little tap if you'd like. It doesn't really matter because we are going to be doing a second coat. All right, so like magic, I just happen to have one done. <laughs> All right, so there's our first coat there. And as you can see, you, you, you can see some of the color coming through this. So we are going to do a second coat. And, you know, that'll be like a second coat, same as the first. Okay, well... It don't really rhyme, but you get the idea. So again, we're gonna coat it with uh, 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 glue here. And I had found that on the second coat here, dabbing it, doo -doo -doo, actually kinda um, 
works a little better. But this is a great opportunity to get all the, like see, there's a little spot there that I missed right there. I can just get, make sure that I got that spot there. You know? And then we're just gonna keep going and going until going. we are, okay, until we're all covered again. And then, oh yeah, once again, we're going to cover uh, with our sand here, okay? Now the first, now you're gonna, you know, we do have to let these dry in between coats, you know, um, and the first one, uh, it'll, you know, this tacky glue dries very fast. It'll take about 15, maybe 20 minutes. Well, that is, unless you have a little fan like this, which I use all the time. I just set it like that, and it, I swear, five minutes and they are totally dry. As a matter of fact, I just happened to have my finished one done. <laughs> Look at me being all prepared. <laughs> all right, there we go. So there's one that has two coats on it and you can always do three coats too if you'd like. It's all up to you and, and, and how it looks. And then I put a little flag on top there like that and all I did, it's so easy. I just took a toothpick and some colored paper and I just hot glued it to the back to make some flags. Let me show you the big one. <laughs> you already saw this, but all right, check it out finished product. <laughs> there we go. And I wanted to show you this one because you can even take it to the next level. I did a third coat with this clear glitter glue. Can you see it? I think you can see it on there, but it has glitter on it. How cool is that, huh? <laughs> so these are, I don't know, I think these are really, really cool. Uh, nice to have like for some beach decor. Um, and you know what? You can absolutely take this to yet another level. Yes, we can, y'all. Oh, so keeping in the theme of like night lights, like we did on the last beach episode on Mondays with Mark, we made jellyfish light nights up. Yep, you can turn this into a night light by adding fairy lights or a battery operated light bulb right up in there and it shines right through. <laughs> How about them apples? <laughs> Isn't that cool looking? Wouldn't that look awesome on a nightstand uh, next to the kiddo's bed? Love it. Love it. <laughs> well, there you have it. Our permanent sandcastles. <laughs>、Cute. Especially the nightlight part. I、yeah. that came later. I didn't. I wasn't gonna make a nightlight out of it until I realized it's made、mm -hmm. out of plastic and you can light it up. So that big one back there. That's going in the bedroom as a nightlight. I love it. See, I remember this way back. You did some charity work making cakes.、Uh, I did for for icing who, smiles. Icing smiles、yeah. as a sugar angel、yes. of all titles. Yeah, we just did cookies last month, and it was、yeah. an ocean theme that I'm remembering. And I'm looking because this sandcastle takes me back because it was one of the non-edible elements of the cake that you made. Yeah, well, that、there. actually remember we got that big mold. It was a big chocolate mold of a、yeah. castle, and it was a little bit bigger than this one.、Mm -hmm. And we made it. We made it into chocolate. <laughs> And I couldn't make it hollow. I couldn't figure out how to make it hollow. So it was that big of solid chocolate. chocolate. And then I made sand to put on the outside out of cookies.、Mm -hmm. It was so heavy and it was on the top. <laughs> yeah. But it worked out really nice. I nice. wish I had picked it. This was way before the channel. I mean, it had a、that. water feature. Oh, no, this is five years pre YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So. We had the, the water in it and all that. It was really, really nice. And then、mm -hmm. since that time, I only did、uh, one more cake and then I've been doing the cookies. You sent some cookies out. Yeah, I did.、Yeah. And I got another call to action. So we're going to be baking cookies again this month for them.、Oh, two、nice. in a row. Two. Two. What do you call them? Called actions in a row. So that's that's nice. That's nice. And what do we donate? Just the ingredients and your time. Yeah,、right? my time and the ingredients. They have a program there where you can get reimbursed if you wanted to. But doesn't that kind of go against the volunteer that, thing? Yeah, that? that's the know. goodness of your heart for ten bucks. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know. And occasionally they'll send you something like a T-shirt or something, you know. But、mm -hmm. I just do it because I well, I enjoy baking. But、yeah. um, I think it's a nice way to give back too. You、yeah. know, I like I, I like what they stand for. So so we'll be doing that really、mm -hmm. really soon. So.、Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, I mean, you know, I can't do the big cakes anymore. No, not so I much. I can't pipe. I can't use my fingers. I was trying to play the piano the other day. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so different. I gotta, I gotta get them. I don't、motion. know. Maybe、move. they look fine. They look I mean, all right. You don't look like a my, crypt keeper or anything. No, but they're going. The knuckles are. See how they're. Mine are starting to swell too. I you know the beginning of one. Yeah. Look. See. Yeah. See. We're、yeah. getting old. We're getting、Up、old. Thirty nine and three hundred and sixty four days. I was fine. I turned forty, and everything falls. Everything fell apart Every quickly.、Day. Everything started to go. Yeah, like one white to another, my hair went gray. <laughs> like one side to another. Heavy thoughts by Mark and Steve.
You know, something's been on my mind. Why do people say tuna fish, but they don't say chicken bird? Heavy Thoughts by Mark and Steve. No, I so know. I, I trim it a little closer nowadays because it's not, I don't care about being older, but I don't like the color. Not I don't that it's, like the color either, I know. I know, no. and then the bumps and things, like, look, can you guys see that? Yeah. It yeah. was addressed. He saw a pro. I saw the doctor about it. It's a cyst. It's benign, but it has to be surgically removed. They're the kind that you could smash with a Bible, apparently, though. My Back grandmother always told me that. Take a Bible and smack it because, you know, she would say they were calcium deposits. Mm -hmm. And I told the doctor that. I said, my grandmother used to smack it with a book. And he said, yeah. oh, yeah, back in the day, they used a Bible to do that. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I could do that. And he said, well, you could. He was like, you know, yeah. he wouldn't say that I could. He's like, you don't want to use 100-year-old medicine if you can avoid it. I know, but I don't want to get surgery either. So I'm thinking I'm going to let it go. See if it could, Well, it's been about a month now. I don't think it's... And it's starting to discut... It's starting to turn red now. So And it's starting to bother me. So we'll see. Sometimes they go away. I'll do it in your sleep if you don't go. Whack. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of getting the doctor where I work at to do it, but he's like this guy, like, I don't want him to, like, break my wrist or anything. <laughs> no, you'll look, probably give you a local, and then do whatever they do, just don't look. Just don't look. Yeah. And smash it. No. Or are you talking about the surgery? Well, and no, the, I'll in, go in the hospital, there's drugs. Yeah, <laughs> so. there are drugs, and it would be outpatient. You'll run some out of van wide open, and I'll smash yeah. my nose. Yeah. You know, I don't care. But anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's not, it's, it hurts a little, but it's fine. Yeah, and it's not really in the way of anything yet, so we'll see. But anyway, the point is, is, Getting old sucks, getting so old. we gotta go to the beach. But there's things nice about it, like getting old together. Getting old together. And going to the beach. And going to the beach. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we better start walking now. We better. So, well, thank you all for joining us, and thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos coming out. Uh, we're on X, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. Contact info is all below. Thanks, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Oh, yes. For a rehab Steve. story time. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Steve, it's Thursday. That's Steve's night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we'll see you again on Friday for some Friday night chit chat. chat. You have a fantastic rest of the week, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Ciao, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>